Hi, and welcome back to Premium Coffee Sleeves. This is part two in this series. We're going to show a little bit more difficult one than the first uh, two that we did. So this is still the same customer for Miss Aliyah Scott. Uh, we're going to open her orange artwork. So we're going to open this with Adobe Illustrator uh, because they sent wonderful, wonderful files for us. Uh, mostly uh, coffee sleeve folks tend to do that, so we really enjoy that. Uh, we are going to uh, release her clipping masks. Oh, goodness, maybe not a good idea. <laughs> um, we're going to see if we can work with this first. <laughs> uh, we are going to open our, um, let's see, premium sleeve template. <clears throat> and come over here and unlock those black panels. We're going to take this orange that we have here, copy and paste onto this section. Oops. Bonk. Make sure those are selected and we're going to eyedropper that so we have the correct background color. Delete the, that for them and we're going to lock this back down so they don't move around on us. Okay, back to their artwork. Let's see what we have here. So they have created uh, clipping paths for us, or clipping masks. So, um, as you can see, they don't really line up with our template totally, but they do match up pretty well. So what we're going to do is use that as best as we can. I always have my guides on, as you can see in most of my videos. Uh, they are really helpful in projects like this to make sure that you're kind of close to center on your page. Alrighty, so we have that one. Copy this one, paste this down here. And we're going to move this in just a touch. And make sure it lines up. Because this is kind of a crazy pattern, it's probably not going to match up perfectly, which I don't think they intended that anyhow. Not a huge deal. And we need to grab this artwork, group that on there, and copy that over top here. And do the same with this. Copy, paste. They made it a little easy for us on this project so we could see where stuff goes properly. And whoop. group that to make sure it's in the right spot. Center everything. And this is going to be our artwork that we're going to end up sending to the print factory when they're ready to go. All right, so we're going to save this, Command-Shift-S or Control-Shift-S, depending on what kind of computer you're on. This is going to go into a new folder, XO, Orange, Coffee, Sleeve, Create. And I'm just going to tap on that old one, make it orange. Oops can't spell this afternoon. AI file. Make sure it's in the orange. Goodness. Let's try and work this the correct way. A1 orange folder. Okay. Now we are going to, this is the artwork that we're sending to the factory once it's approved. 
we are going to open up our proof form and then this is going to be our fun way of doing this proof. We are going to turn off the air freshener layer, turn on the premium sleeve layer. What I'm going to do from here is I am going to copy this shape and I'm going to paste it into our actual artwork that we send to the factory and size it up. So then I'm going to select everything and we're going to just create a mask. So we're going to hit Command or Control 7. We're going to copy this and then we're going to paste it in here. And we'll fix that background in just a minute. We're going to resize it real quick to the size. This background needs to be orange, like that color orange. And we have the front side. So then we're going to, whoops, I'm not sure why I have all of these guides on here. We're going to clear those, get those suckers out of here. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to paste another copy down below because that side is on the bottom as well. But we need this shape, so I double tapped to get to this part of the group. We're going to copy this and come back over to our art file. And we're going to control Z to go backwards. We're going to paste this on here, flip it upside down, size it, get to the center. Then we're going to select everything again and hit Command 7 or Control 7, copy, paste. We're going to flip it up again. Before I go any further, I'm going to make sure I have that orange ready on the background. Size it up. And get rid of these guides. I'm going to drop these two behind the other. Goodness. Ungroup. Make sure we have stuff in the right order. There we go. Just didn't want to work for me there. Make sure the sizing is correct. And I'm actually going to uh, put a little drop shadow on here. Oop. Nope. goodness. I love when stuff doesn't want to work. This is literally a tiny, tiny drop shadow, just so you can see that there's a little lip there on the artwork. Nothing major. And there we have it. That is our little bit more than complicated uh, front and back on a patterned background premium coffee sleeve. So we're going to just finish up the proof here. Alaya Scott. These are the XO orange coffee sleeves. And 0117-2021 premium coffee sleeves. Uh, matte finish indented. Again, we're going to save as orange proof or P1 and then file export as JPEG file 
export. Okay. So we did all three designs. Now we're going to send them to the customer. So we're going to respond or reply to this email. Um, we are going to send proof. And we are going to attach all three of the designs. Purple, JPEG file, green, JPEG file, and orange JPEG file. Make sure they're all attached. We're going to send reply. This goes to closed. And then we're going to add these to pipe drive as well. Elias got for green and orange and purple. Change this from artwork to the sales queue and the proof sent file. Lane, sorry. Hit save. And then we're on to the next project. I'll catch you back here for more training guides. Thank you.